When the Germans located and fought women in the Red Army, orders were given to kill and shoot the women instantly. The German military along with the Nazis saw the use of women in the army as an example of how backwards Bolshevism, Communism and subsequently the Soviet Union was. They saw this as an attack on traditional values and because of this they wished to execute them instantly. Hundreds of women soldiers, snipers and tank crew members were shot on sight or hanged when they were taken by the Germans but after the losses of Operation Barbarossa, Stalin had allowed women to join up. Today we look at a teenager who at the age of 18 was killed fighting in the Red Army and who was executed in barbaric fashion. So join us as we look at the horrific execution of Ksenia Konstantinova and remember as always to support, please make sure to subscribe. Ksenia Konstantinova was born on the 18th of April 1925 in Russia in a small village called Lubny. Little is known about her early life and education but at the age of 12 she saw her father Semyon arrested by the NKVD. The organisation tasked with conducting police work and overseeing labour camps in Russia. They were a group that throughout history have become synonymous with carrying out political repression, executing thousands of citizens who dissented against Stalin and the government, and they also carried out Stalin's Great Purge. The NKVD were also responsible for overseeing and administering the gulags and the systems of forced labour. Ksenia's father had been accused on false charges by his colleagues. He was a primary school teacher and after his arrest he was sent to prison for five years and regarded as an enemy of the people. Ksenia and her brothers were also then treated poorly and were looked down upon and it was this label that she wished to greatly shed. Ksenia wished to change people's perceptions that she was not the enemy. She trained at the Lepech Paramedic School. It took her two years to graduate and then she began to work in a small village hospital. This drive to prove herself and to shake off the stigma that the NKVD labelled her family led her into the Second World War. At the time the Germans had invaded the Soviet Union and things were looking rather bleak for them. Initially the Wehrmacht rampaged through the Balkans and during Operation Barbarossa there were huge losses to the military and the army. It was this that led Joseph Stalin to accept women to join the Soviet military and the Red Army. After the huge losses of the initial part of Barbarossa, he changed his mind, allowing women who were previously refused to serve within the Red Army, and they were given permission to reapply and take up arms. This saw a large number of women, thousands, to join service as not just nurses but as snipers, tank crews, anti-aircraft battery staff, and also regular infantry soldiers. Women inside of the Red Army were greatly celebrated after the war, but the Germans saw this as a horrific assault on their values. The Nazis had instilled the traditional values into German society and deemed that women should only be housewives and mothers, serving their husbands inside of domestic roles. The fact that the Soviets used women in military service led to a number of German officials and officers stating that any Soviet woman found in uniform or bearing arms must be executed immediately, on the spot by gunshot, or some even said they should be hanged from trees. This did include the Partisans, a communist resistance movement that saw thousands of women take up arms against the Germans in the Balkans, and subsequently many women were executed by the Germans in horrific fashion because of this. To shake off the reputation she and her family had, Ksenia Konstantinova then ran away from home in 1943 and wished to help the war effort. She joined the Red Army as a medic, and left a small note for her mother, explaining that she felt that she needed to go and help the Soviets against the war machine of the German army. She wasn't even 18 when she joined and volunteered for service within the Red Army. In early 1943 she was sent to an infantry training brigade based in the Volga district, and within a few months she was placed into service in the army as a medic. She joined the 730th Infantry Regiment of the 204th Infantry Division, and she was quickly placed into the heart of battle, tending to wounded soldiers and helping to evacuate them out of the heat of battle. During intense and savage fighting in the Kursk area in July 1943, Konstantinova was plunged into the heart of the fighting, and she helped to make enemy soldiers retreat. This then allowed her to carry and evacuate dozens of soldiers who were injured. She carried them herself from the battlefield, and was awarded the Medal for Battle Merit, such was her bravery. Ksenia was just 18 when she did this, and she continued to carve a reputation for herself 
for hard work and rescuing many soldiers. During the battle for the Kursk Bulge, she did receive injuries and was forced into hospital for a spell while she recovered from a concussion, but shortly after she went back onto the front lines. Her division was later withdrawn to the Reserve Army during reorganisation and was absorbed into the 43rd Army based on the Kalinin Front. Ksenia went with her battalion and she saw action there and took part in an offensive to take Demidov, a small city. The Red Army were able to force the Germans out by the 21st of September 1943, but the fighting was ferocious, and later she saw service also in the battle for Chatilovo village on the 1st of October. During this, Constantinople was incredibly busy as her battalion saw heavy losses, and many soldiers were injured. She even helped to evacuate her commander, Ivan Klevakin, when he suffered wounds in the fighting, but returned once more to help her fellow soldiers. She continued to administer first aid in the heat of the ferocious fighting. However, while she was in the middle of administering first aid to a wounded soldier, the Germans struck back. A group of around 100 soldiers managed to penetrate the Soviet lines, and they shocked the Soviets and managed to encircle a number of their forces, and they opened up machine guns on the Red Army. She picked up a machine gun herself, and whilst by a cart carrying wounded soldiers, she returned fire at the enemy. She held off as best as she could, defending the wounded soldiers, and managed to kill 12 enemy German soldiers. She took out a dozen of the enemy, until she was hit, and was suffering from a head injury that left her completely unconscious and out cold, surrounded by the enemy. She was then taken prisoner by the Germans who saw her as a huge threat. As mentioned, many German generals saw women who took up arms as an attack on traditional German values, and subsequently ordered that those were to be executed on site. Ksenia Konstantinova was taken captive, and when she awoke after being knocked out, she was a prisoner of war and was interrogated brutally. She was asked about Soviet Red Army military operations and missions in the local area, but Konstantinova refused to give over any information. She was horrifically tortured and mutilated, and was left near to dead, however her execution was incredibly barbaric. During the mutilation of her, and in an attempt to get her to give over information, a decision by the Germans was made that she was a lost cause. It was decided that the interrogation would never give over any information, and because of this, the soldiers in charge executed her in barbaric fashion. Ksenia Konstantinova was left for dead, and she was stabbed a number of times. She was butchered completely by the Germans, before she was pinned to the ground, with a wooden stake placed straight through her body, pinning her corpse into the mud. This was aimed to shock those who found her, and the mutilated corpse of the Soviet nurse was discovered the next day, and her fellow soldiers were appalled by what they saw and were very shocked. The stake was removed, and her body was taken away, and she was given full military honours at her funeral when she was buried. Within a few months she was also awarded the Hero of the Soviet Union, the highest military honour within the Union for bravery. At the heart of the story is a young girl of 18, whose family was shamed and given a bad name, following false accusations levelled at Ksenia's father. She wished to rid this reputation from herself, and by signing up to fight against the Germans, and to help the Red Army turn the tide in the war, she certainly earned the respect of so many. She was regarded as an excellent medic, who did so much to help soldiers escape the battlefield and recover. However, her execution by the Germans was incredibly savage, being impaled with a wooden stake and being pinned to the ground, with her dead body showing how brutal the enemy really were in her torture. Ksenia Konstantinova was an incredibly brave young lady, who met her demise after fighting so well for her nation. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.